Welcome to the Port of Corpus Christi, the energy port of the Americas. Why do I call it that? Well, for starters, it's the number one exporter of crude oil in the United States. Millions of gallons of natural gas will soon flow through these docks, and it's the nation's premier wind energy port. It's also poised for massive growth, thanks to three major infrastructure projects. The biggest of those is right at the entrance. The channel is our number one priority. I actually have been working on that project for over 20 years. It's time to modernize our channel. It's, it is the lifeblood of the port. The improvements that we're authorized include deepening and widening the channel from the Gulf of Mexico to Viola Turning Basin, uh, extending the La Quinta Channel about a mile and a half to the west. The current estimates for this project are $375 million. Uh, the La Quinta extension portion was completed in 2012. So about 13% of the improvements have been completed. It's important that these ships have the proper draft to be able to come in and load as much of America's energy on it as possible in order to remain competitive. You know, a recent economic update was completed and the results indicated $64 million a year in annual net transportation cost savings. So this project has a very, very strong impact on, on our shipping. Ports that don't make this kind of investment will really become obsolete, so it's a very important project. The ship channel leads right to the Harbor Bridge, which is being replaced after more than 50 years of service. The port is contributing to a combined federal and Texas Department of Transportation effort to build the longest cable-stayed bridge in the Western Hemisphere. Together with an improved channel, the combo will be a game changer. This new bridge will be a dramatic statement of the life and vitality of this community. It's going to be 205 foot of clearance instead of 138 foot. It will last 100 years. When the new bridge is finished, the bottom of the new bridge will be where the top of this bridge is. That means larger ships, which means more volume of exports, which means lower overall transportation costs for American companies. That means we'll continue to be competitive as we export our energy to nations overseas. Well, this is truly a historic project uh, for Corpus Christi, for South Texas, um, and it's a significant partnership for us with the Port of Corpus Christi. And so working towards that as a community, coming together to work on this project together, we know that it's, it's going to mean great things for the future. There wasn't enough money from the federal and state government, so the community came up with over $100 million and the port was the leader in doing that. We're putting direct cash in, $15 million. Uh, we're doing a buyout of a community that's impacted with this. We've donated the land where the new bridge is going, where it's gonna impact the port. So we have probably over $85 million that we're putting into the bridge. This is the Noasis River Rail Yard. Ready for business in summer 2017, it boasts a mainline track of 10,000 feet. It also has eight more 8,000 foot sidings. It gives the port flexibility and capacity like nowhere else. The new rail yard has quadrupled our capacity. With that much trackage, we're able to handle three class one railroads that can serve any place in North America, originating right here at the Port of Corpus Christi. A typical unit train is 110, 115 uh, cars. Our capabilities go up to 150 cars, and we'll be able to handle eight unit trains at one time. So we'll be able to handle anything that the railroads can throw at us in the future. The port is on track in a 10-year, billion-dollar capital expenditure program. And when you add in $50 billion of private investment, that makes the Port of Corpus Christi the port to watch for the next decade. You might say it's time to get on board and feel the energy.